What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, got another photo we can all analyze and check out. I found a couple inconsistencies in this Apollo 15 photo. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, you can see it right here, and at the bottom it says, Western Mare Vaporum during sunrise from Apollo 15. AS 1598-13302, that is the ID number. Now, a couple things I found interesting, and it may not add up to anything more than just simple shadowing. You guys can be the judge as always. First thing I noticed was this crater right here. And you can see it's just at the very top of the photo. I can't go any higher than that. But you can see the rim of the crater, and you can see right here, it actually echoes the actual rim of the crater. And again, it depends on the angle that it's at. It's not completely on the, on the, on the lunar surface or close to it. Because you can actually see it's actually showing some kind of a shadow. This would be much longer. What I don't understand is why you got this, it looks like a mound or something near this crater. And yet, look at the dawn shadow to this thing. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at the length and the point to it. Let me just back out a little bit. Look at that. That's insane, guys. That is, that is really elongated. How big is that, whatever that is? And again, it is, to, of course, the lower the sun angle. We know that, that the longer the actual shadow will be but first of all one it comes to a point and two look at that that's just crazy look at it. it's just it, it doesn't look like it's much higher or even has a point to it of course it's hard to tell from this angle where up in, it is up in orbit that they're filming this from but check that out okay the other things i found interesting too and i'm going to rotate this photo in a minute for you guys what i find interesting is some of these long lines now these could be it could be anything to do with uh, old lava tubes or whatever. Some of them don't quite look like lava tubes, and there's a couple of them I'm going to show you uh, that I find interesting. What I also find interesting is all of these uh, craters, they all seem to have this little opening. You notice that? Or like a funky shape like this one here. Okay? And they always seem... Like they're completely, like they've been hit straight onto the ground. You don't see any really, really huge, like oval-shaped, um, you know, craters. We see what looks like just perfectly round or pretty darn close, right? I mean, some of them are distorted, don't get me wrong. But look at every single one of them seems to have an opening on the side. Or if you want to call them sides because it's round, right? It has an opening in the actual outer part of this crater. What What is that all about? We know we can see the shadows going this way. You can see that coming. So the sun's coming from the upper right, and it's leaving a shadow on the lower left. Well, yet we have an opening in every one of these. Check this out. Is it nothing more than shadowing? Good possibility. I still find that kind of weird that most of them actually do that. Look, smaller ones, same thing. It's almost like they weren't completed, or there's some kind of weird opening, and it's just whatever's in the middle of this is being protected, and this is they could still get into these... Uh, craters or is it just the way nature is there right okay if you go down to this lower area here again you can see these weird straight lines and this is the one that was we just looked at right there okay somebody had said before that these things could be like some kind of travel tubes right and they go from section to section they, they come above ground and back underground or whatever um, I'm not sure I believe all that but some things just don't look natural but they could be all right Let's dive down here in the lower corner, because I think you guys will find this interesting. Okay. Right off the bat, I was looking at this here. What about this one right here? I find that pretty interesting, because it's in sections, guys. Check this out. One, two, three, and it goes into this hill, or whatever it may be. This may, it almost looks like it's a valley here. But there's no way to have known that because there's too much darkness and the way this thing is. But do, but judging by its shadow, it appears to be some kind of valley underneath this. And that one doesn't look very natural compared to what we see here. But it kind of does look like this kind of looks like it's not natural. But is it really natural or not? When we look at this right here, this could be nothing more than a ridge because you can see like a smaller crater. Let's see if we can zoom in anymore. Right there. You can see this smaller one looks like a smaller crater. But look at this perfectly straight. And look at the section. One. Two, three, and four. Well, there's a little piece of that one right there. But see the way that's perfectly straight. It almost looks like it's, there's a valley here. And this thing's going from one side to the other. That's pretty crazy. Now, there's also another one. What looks like it has a structure near it. Let's check that one out. 
We've got this piece right here, which is okay, and that could very well be natural. Check this one out right here. And then look at the item right here, right there, perfectly square, with something on top of it. Again, we got this right here. It almost looks like it's going into this part of the lunar surface right here. And you can see where it's just going underneath it right there. See that? I find it pretty bizarre, guys. And we just happen to have this square or rectangular shaped item. Looks like a platform of some sort. And it looks like there's something on top of that. Can we zoom in any further than that? We're pretty much at its limit, 500%. Check that out. Going like this here, and we have this square to almost rectangle. You can see it actually goes all the way to right here and stops. It looks like it stops right there. And it could very, very well be, it looks like almost like a half square. And the other half is right there, like it's in the shadow part. This one right here, this part, is in the shadow. So therefore, it's darker than the rest of this. But look at this. Out of all this ground, that's what you see. You see this square part or rectangular. It looks like either or, right? But we have this piece here. Now, let me back out a little bit. And I'm going to show you in Photoshop. And I'm going to just brighten up a little bit. I'm not going to do anything fancy to it. And what I do is I counterclockwise about 145 degrees, roughly. You can see it up here in the upper left, right there. It's 154 degrees, negative. Now, let's go ahead and just blow this up for you guys. There you go. Now, again, I changed this around and turned it around so we can have a better look at these craters and like i said why is it we can see the shadowing going like this over here to the right right each one of these okay every one of these has this weird shape to it or has an opening on one area what's the chances of every one of these doing that pretty much look at smaller one right there all over here on the right hand side they all have it now is it possible it's just not a complete crater wall very good possibility but it's just weird that a lot of these are doing that Okay, this one here seems to be wide open. And again, it could be just a crater wall had fallen apart. Right there. All right, let's bounce up to this corner where these things are. Because I wanted to give you guys a different perspective about this. And here we go. I'm just going to brighten this up a little bit. Right there. There's the one in question. One, two, three, four. Okay, you can see right there, one, two, three. There's a separation right there, four. Okay, we can actually bring up the exposure just a little bit, see if we can find anything else. Okay. And here's the other one here. That's kind of strange. We can see it right here. Again, we've got this long piece in the middle. Right there. And we have this, what looks like square rectangular piece right there. And almost like this, like this part here is half. And you can almost see the darker piece like this, like a 90 degree angle. Like it's in the darker part of it, so you're not seeing the whole square object in question, all completely bright. And you've got, like I said, this weird piece with all of these, what look like little, whatever they are, these little details on top of that. Yeah. that? What do you think, guys? Nothing more than just simple lunar surface? I can say a lot of this is. Some of it, not so much. Right there. Again, we're seeing what looks like sectional pieces here. You got one. Two, three. So we've got this one, two, three. Plus, that's not very straight, but you guys get the idea. Four sections. And again, due to the sunlight, you can see it looks like it's kind of like a valley here underneath it. And this thing's traveling from one side to the other. Now, let's go ahead and rotate this again. We'll bring this all the way back around. There we go. This is the normal photo. But look at the difference between what looks like something completely natural on the left-hand side of it. It looks like a maybe a small crater right there. 
right here to what looks like something completely straight going like this here. What do you think that is, guys? Natural? Unnatural. You guys be the judge. And, of course, we've got, again, this little what looks like a structure. Out of all of this mess here, a lot of nothing but lunar surface, we find this other object there, along with, again, this long piece right there. You guys be the judge. Again, guys, is it nothing more than lunar surface, which I believe 99.9% .9 of it is, but there's some inconsistencies. Is it nothing more than the shadows taking apart these crater walls? And all we see is a section of it gone. Every one of them, well, not every one, but done close. I'd say a good 70, 80% of them have what look like there's a section missing out of it. Is it possible that all of these crater walls are just incomplete? Good possibility. Is there another possibility? Is it possible that they're made that way? So we don't know if there's something built inside there because we've seen many photos and people talked about where there could be structures inside these craters. And some of the even astronauts even talk about this, where it looks like this, what looks like cubes or some kind of uh, uh, cube structures down inside these craters um, where they said it looks like they never get out. It looks like it's very, you know, uh, desolate down there. Um, so is it possible that's what those made? They're cut out so that you can get in and out of these things. I don't know. Pure speculation, of course. And then, of course, we got those long, what looks like travel tubes. People have called them that. It looks like tubes, and they look like they're completely straight, like there is like no deviation as far as complete being completely straight as opposed to what we saw on the left-hand side of it, which looked like a, some kind of mountain ridge um, with what looked like a small crater. And, of course, we get that square or rectangular platform, which looks like it has some little designs or is on top of that. It's hard to tell. We don't really have any good detail. And we're not zoomed in quite enough, you know, to see them. And if you did zoom in because they're so small, you know, they would just break apart. You wouldn't be able to make any details out of it anyway, right? Anyway, guys, drop your comments and thoughts below. As always, let me know what you guys think. Please like and share the video. Always appreciate you guys know that. And guys, I got some more moon as well as more Mars coming up and some more different stuff coming up. So stay tuned for that as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.